Namaste, hello and welcome back to another video on Eco Consciousness. My name is Ohana and this is a continuation video from the previous video which was my TBR for uh, Hikathon. Now Hikathon is a 14 day uh, readathon which has been uh, created and hosted by Macy uh, from The Bright Side Girl. I'll leave a link to her announcement video and um, in the description box below as well as in the overhead cards above along with all the other videos she's put together for us. And um, my previous video was about the TBR books or the books which I plan to complete within these 14 days. However, this video is going to be about my pile of possibilities. So should I not be able to complete um, any of these books during that particular period, I will continue reading it because uh, I absolutely love the concept of Hikathon and I put together this um, entire list which will come under my possibilities. So do please join me further in this video. to the books which are on my pile of possibilities so the first book that i do have is uh, called alone by um megan e freeman and this is um a survival read of course and um it's written in prose i intend on um getting to this uh, during the readathon but i placed it in my pile of possibilities should i not be able to come around to this but uh, this is about this uh, 12 year old girl who um goes for a sleep a secret sleepover with two of her friends and then she finds that she's abandoned all alone and her friends have ditched her and uh, she finds herself uh, in a a town which is abandoned in a absolutely deserted house and the only um but the only creature which uh, accompanies her is a dog and she finally has to uh, she's very uh, she's actually far away from civilization she has to survive and she has to find out her way she is in an isolated and a deserted place so she has to survive all the wind and the cold as well as the winter which is um, coming around as well and um, this is all about how she survives it and how she makes her way through so that's the um, first book that I'll be reading or I'll attempt to read the second is also a survival read by Rebecca Behrens called Alone in the Woods and uh, this is about uh, Jocelyn and Alex who have been best friends and uh, they hope that they have an annual joint uh, family vacation in the isolated North Woods uh, to rekindle their friendship but um, they uh, have a um, breaking point when they get lost and then they have to uh, try and trust each other and build their friendship so that they can um, get together and try and escape the forest and uh, come towards the nearest civilization so uh, it's a survival read over there as well as uh, uh, trying to team up and uh, trying to renew their friendship and learning to trust each other uh, the third book is also a survival read which is jls splints uh, 96 miles now <clears throat> this is about two brothers who um have been trained by a very strict and vigilant father for surviving in any situation and any circumstance. So uh, when, what happens is that the father is away on business and uh, their um, town elect electricity goes out. Uh, the house, these two brothers are alone in the house and their house uh, is robbed of all its belongings and all of its um, uh, requirements uh, for survival and uh, these two boys somehow escape and survive and then they have to walk 96 miles through a desert to reach the nearest civilization so all that their father has taught them uh, comes into use and um, this is what uh, the story is about uh, as to how they discover more about themselves how their relationship deepens and uh, what they learn about their father's training whom they never used to really value much but now it comes into good use and how they put it to use practically so uh, that's what this story is about uh, the next book that i have on my pile of possibilities is a very famous book and it's by ken Dear blake uh, which is three dark crowns now this is about um a triplet group of sisters who are uh, royal uh, born uh, by lineage and uh, 
this family has had um, triplets before as well and it's the same story which has been going on for generations there is one uh, a high queen and uh, there, these three princesses have to fight for their crown so they have to they are taken by their uh, aunts to different places or of the kingdom so one of them is a poisoner the other one is a, works out elemental magic and the third is a naturalist so there's a lot of magic there's a lot of um, uh, fantasy in it and uh, they have to fight for the crown as well as there is only one throne which they need to fight for so uh, that comes to the concluding part so that's what the story is about i've already started as you can see this bookmark i've already started it so hopefully i should be able to uh, complete it if not i'll talk about this once i get through it uh, now the next book which i have is a uh, trilogy and uh, this has uh, everything to do with um, a magical forest and uh, the inhabitants of the magical forest so um, let me just uh, hold this up for you so this is the uh, series so the series has a lot of as you can see it's a beautiful cover it's got lots of forest in it and uh, i was planning to actually read this for um uh, putting this in my tbr but then i knew that i probably will not be able to finish uh, all the uh, books in one go because that's what i wanted to do so anyway um i talk about the first book so this is about uh, a magical forest called caldera who has uh, which has a wheel uh, which separates the light side and the dark side so the daylight is where uh, the creatures uh, live during the day and the night um, is the creatures or the shade is when where the creatures live uh, in the night time or they are more active during the night time so we do have a group of panthers uh, who are just uh, babies at the moment but then there is one of them called males and um, Mez has a latent magical power in her. So there is a stranger who walks up to, uh, inside their cave one fine evening and says that uh, one of them who has uh, magic in it has to cross the veil and uh, there is an impending ma um, calamity which is going to happen, which is going to affect uh, their part of the forest as well. And uh, somebody with courage needs to pass that veil and find out um, and about uh, the um, intruder in the um, forest which holds the light of the day so uh Mez has to cross over she has to discover herself she has to first find out what magic she has she crosses over she makes friends and then she tries to save the forest so that is what the entire trilogy is all about so uh, that's called lost in the rainforest by elliot Schreffer, and um one of the books that I recently acquired, which I found very appropriate for Hikeathon, because a Hikeathon is all about um, hiking and nature and going outside and having stories uh, which are, um, or reading stories, which are actually happening outside in nature. So this is called Each of Us Universe called by uh, Jean Zulik Fer Ferulo with Dengo Gladys M M Okay, I can't pronounce this. I will just try and write it uh, over here somewhere so so that you can um, have a look at the authors as well. <clears throat> so I'll just read out from the back of the book. I don't know much about it. So it's uh, from the back. It reads as, Ever since the day when everything changed, Cal Scott's answer has been to run. Run from mother who's fighting cancer. Run from her father whom she can't forgive. And run from classmates who have never seemed to get her. The only thing Cal runs towards is nearby Mount Meteorite. Named for the magical meteorite some say crashed there 50 years ago, Cal spends her afternoon plotting to submit the mountain so she can find the magic she believes will make the impossible possible and heal her mother. But no one has successfully reached its peak to no one who, uh, who's lived to tell about it anyway. And then Cal meets Rosine Kanambe, a girl who's faced more impossibles than anyone should have. Rosine has her own secret plan for the mountain and its magic, and she convinces Cal they can submit they can summit and speak if they work together. As the girls climb high and dig deep to face the mountain's challenges, Cal learns from Rosine what real courage looks like, and she begins to wonder if the magic she's been looking for is really the kind she needs. Each of us a universe. It's a glowing story of friendship, inner strength, and what happens when the impossible becomes possible. So it's a beautiful story, and um, I really wanted to put this on my TBR, but uh, yes, I had already selected that. This just came around a day or two ago, and uh, so 
it's on my pile of possibilities but yes uh, it could be a possibility that I might just end up reading this as well so uh, the last book that I do have on my pile of possibilities is a sort of a summer horror uh, by Lindsay Curie which says what lives in the woods now I don't have any idea about this book so from the back it reads as all Ginny Anderson wants from her summer is to relax attend a writing workshop and spend time with her best friend but when Ginny's father surprises the family with a month-long trip to Michigan her plans change for worse especially because they aren't staying in a normal hotel they'll be living in and restoring the century-old Woodmore house when they arrive Ginny is immediately spooked by the creepy house and the rumors what lies in the surrounding woods legend says the forest is inhabited by prowling creatures with glowing eyes and prey on campers were never seen again and Ginny can't shake the feeling that there's something wrong with the house as well shadowy figures a strange ticking sound in the walls and a mannequin that has a mind of its own all converge to make for a terrifying stay and as Ginny investigates she learns that there's more than one legend roaming around and this one definitely isn't after campus it's after her so um, a summer read plus horror is something which is absolutely fun so that will be uh, one of the books which I'm quite keen on reading for this particular readathon so those are all the books that I do have on my pile of possibilities say if I cannot uh, read uh, all of them I'll at least try to get to them um, next month and I'll definitely be talking about them but yes it will be um, uh, for my wrap up for a hikeathon so and that's all I have for today and I hope you enjoyed this video do let me know what you think about them and if you um, would like to buddy read any of them with me and I will see you soon next week with another video or in fact uh, let me correct myself I'll see you next to next week because this is a bi-weekly channel so I'll be posting once in two weeks so I'll see you next to next week um, with another video so till then take care have a good reading week ahead and namaste